This was one of the first portraits that Rembrandt painted when he moved to Amsterdam. It's painted on a piece of wood, on mahogany, a tree that is not native to Europe. How did the Dutch artist come to paint on wood that grew oceans away? The Frick's temporary move to Frick Madison has prompted new ways of looking at our collection. One thing that's become clearer is that although the Frick's art is predominantly European, the world beyond Europe is intrinsically linked to the history of these objects. We're exploring some of these stories. I'm Amy Ng, curator at the Frick Collection in New York, and this is Where in the World. In 1631, Rembrandt moved from his native Leiden to Amsterdam, a city at the heart of global trade in the 17th century. This portrait of the fur trader Nicholas Rutz was probably the first portrait he was commissioned to paint of a person outside of his family. On the little paper in Rutz's hand appears the date, upside down, 1631. This painting marks a turning point in Rembrandt's career. From here, the 25-year-old artist would become the most sought-after and celebrated painter in Amsterdam. This is also one of the earliest paintings painted on mahogany, which grew nowhere near Amsterdam. Where in the world did it come from? Mahogany is a strong, dense wood, indigenous to parts of the Caribbean and Central and South America. By the middle of the 18th century, wealthy people in America and Europe were paying huge sums of money for furniture made of mahogany, which was prized for its lustrous beauty and rich colors. The craze for mahogany relied on the labor of indigenous people and enslaved Africans to harvest the wood, the backbreaking work of cutting it down and transporting it. And its popularity resulted in deforestation and the near extinction of some species. But when Rembrandt was painting in 1631, mahogany was not yet a luxury. It was so plentiful in the Caribbean islands and South American regions that the Dutch colonized and traded in that it was used to make crates to contain goods and produce and for ballast in ships. What Rembrandt's painting may be telling us is that he picked up a relatively inexpensive panel of wood, which came to Amsterdam from halfway around the world, not because it was precious, but because it was available to an aspiring artist trying to make it in the big city. What did Rembrandt know about the origins of the wood he was painting on? Or the fur trader, showing off his wealth in his portrait by wearing expensive furs, did he think about his image being painted on mahogany, a symbol of growing global trade, of the commercial world that saw explosive wealth for some and cruelty and destitution for others? We don't know. Both Rembrandt and Nicholas Rutz would enjoy great success and suffer great failures, both filing for bankruptcy in the years after this portrait was made. As for mahogany, from the 17th century onward, many paintings came to be painted on mahogany shipped to Europe from the Americas, each silently telling their stories, hidden under layers of paint.